We are just about ready to finish up this series on the Hoover Unbelievable Story. And again, I'm not sure, but I think this is Sam Elliott, the actor. Sam Elliott loves those mustaches like that. Those glue-on mustaches. And you can see that most likely this is just a nose piece here. If you put on the glasses and put on the hat, add a little bit of puffiness there. Put this on. I think it's Sam Elliott, but I am not sure, okay? Can't say for sure. Let's conclude the Hoover unbelievable story who used the Nazi plane, the Falkwolf, <laughs> and escaped from Germany in a Nazi plane. Here you are in an enemy airplane and the war's not over and I, I Air Force people come in and see you. They're going to take an easy pot shot at you and you're dead. And I headed north till I got to the South, uh, North Sea. Then I swung west and I thought, if I've got enough fuel to get to Holland, I'll see windmills and I'll know I'm in a safe country. No offense, but if you still think that investing in real estate is the best way to make passive income... Bob had Sorry eventually landed the German airplane in a field in Holland. What he had no way of knowing was that under Nazi occupation, the Dutch population had experienced the highest per capita death rate of any country occupied by Hitler's forces. People playing now dead. Now that they had been liberated, the local population Dummies. was not likely to warmly welcome a pilot who Fake had emerged from a German airplane. Look at that. Look at he the was hand immediately signal there. surrounded by farmers with pitchforks and other weapons. Wow. We marching him down the road and other when they encountered a British convoy. Pitchforks Bob are really was great able weapons. To describe his situation to them and the Brits intervened. We're sort of a hair raiser in a, in a... By the way, I can't help but comment on the American Revolution. How the American people fought off the British. What did they have? They had pitchforks! Come on! Use your head! They had pitchforks, that's it. And they're gonna fight off the most highly trained army in the world. The Redcoats, the British, it was all nonsense. Anyhow, I know I diverged on you there. I just couldn't resist. I'm having fun. Very dumb thing to have done. Uh, you know, the war was practically over. But I had, all I'd thought about every day, all day long, was getting out and, and, and capturing one of their airplanes. And I was so motivated. The day Bob Hoover stole that German airplane and flew himself to freedom. He was 23 years old. The war in Europe was within months of being over when Bob escaped. Okay, and one of the funny things about the so-called war in Europe is Hermann Goring. Look at the size of Goring. Now, I identify Goring as Orson Welles, but there's a channel in Germany that identified a German actor but I just wonder if it isn't Orson Welles in Germany as well being a German actor but anyhow come on think about it why would the military have someone in there this size physical size and then as many of you know Hitler was played by Walt Disney Plans to turn our attention to the Pacific and Japan became moot with the atomic bombings of the Japanese cities of Hiroshima. Ooh, the atomic bomb, which is an atomic nonsense. Flashes of light, a mushroom cloud. It's all nonsense. But 98% of the population believed it and maybe 98 percent still believes it I don't I'm in that two percent that doesn't believe a word of their lies 
Nagasaki on August 6 and 9, 1945. Now you can see a lot of these photos are just composites. And you can strip them down and you'll find out that basically speaking, nothing happened. They may have controlled demolition a few buildings. They etched into stone what looks like bodies and that's all nonsense too because you can't you can't etch flesh into a stone and let alone the bones even when they cremate uh, bones do not burn you have to crush the bones in cremation so all this stuff about oh the bodies are actually embedded in the stones and all that it's just nonsense as is all of it nonsense well anyhow this was the Hoover report the Hoover report of a flying Hoover machine yes the Hoover constellation floats it doesn't just slide there Just as it floats over the table, so it floats through your houseware. A gentle pull, and it follows in your footsteps for perfect all-round the house cleaning. So if you want... Okay, it floats on air. That was the Hoover Report. To float through housework, get the fabulous Hoover Constellation. Was the Hoover Report. This ends the series on Hoover. Thank you for watching, especially if you watched all of them. I had fun making them. I hope you had fun watching them. End of series, end of video.